Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. First, I want to start off by saying thank you so much for subscribing. Thanks for the comments, the likes, and all the support. You guys, um, today's video is going to be how to make these flare sleeves. So, this is our pattern. This is pattern number 92. And this is pattern number 15. Okay? So, 92... 15, 92, 15. Okay, so y'all guys, most, most of the times a lot of people contact me and they say, oh my God, can I get that one pattern? Not understanding that with sewing, most of the time it look like a one piece, but it's not a one piece. Do you see it? Look, this is where we connect both of these patterns together. So it's not just a one piece piece okay so you can then cut off this flare and then just have a leg cap a, a leg sleeve right you can use this piece as a bell bottom for a pants you can use this for a sleeve flare so it's so many different things that we can use patterns for and then you connect them together to make them look the way you want them to look so i've already prepped my um serger i'm only going to use a serger mainly i'm just going to trim with a sewing machine which is right here so let's get started um i decided that i wanted to do sheer so i'm gonna do sheer and then we're gonna trim with the so i'm doing mesh see-through so the first thing I'm going to do is lay my fabric out. I'm going to lay it out. And then I'm going to fold it. The reason why I'm going to fold it is because that's how you do my pattern. Everybody does things different. This is not the only way. Um... Normally, it will have this on it. So, let me write it on it just to where y'all can see. Wait a minute. To where y'all can see how it will look if you purchase it from me. Fold line. Okay. So, when we go to sit it on there, I like to start from the bottom of my fabric or the top of my fabric, not in the middle. So, you see my fabric's already cut. So what I'm going to do is bring my fold back a little bit more so I don't waste no fabric. And then I'm going to sit my uh, pattern on the fold line the same way that I folded my fabric. I'm only going to go the width of the pattern, the length of the pattern. So... I'm going to put this on it so it won't move. And then I'm going to cut a square or a rectangle around my pattern before I cut it out. That way it gives me clean fabric. So now I have clean fabric. But I did move my stuff. So I got to put it back on the track. Which I like. If it moves, you're going to have to readjust it because it's like that on both sides. So then I cut out the pattern. That way I just don't have a big spot in, in the middle of my fabric. So this is one. So we're going to repeat the same pattern, repeat the same thing. So this is one. I'm going to put it to the side. Do the same thing again. Remember, cuts a square or rectangle, depending on how your pattern is shaped, if it's a square or rectangle. And 
If it's long, you'll be cutting a rectangle. If it's short, you'll be cutting a square. So that way your fabric will be clean. Okay, so we're done with that fabric. You can move your can good any way that you need to. All it is is holding your fabric in place. Okay, this is our second one. Don't forget, this is pattern number 92. This is our second piece. So now, I think, am I going to do all flare? I said I do the black bottom. I think I'm going to do the black bottom and then trim in black. Okay, so this is the black that I'm going to use. This is pattern number 15, flare. So we're going to use our, oh, I didn't cut this off. This is our ugly stuff to be on the bottom of our fabric. We always want to cut that off first. That way you never have it into your pattern. So we're gonna fold our fabric the same way because our pattern is folded. So we're gonna sit it on the fold line. Right there, I was almost on point. Ooh, I was, I did it look good. So that's our fold line. Remember I told y'all a square, a rectangle around it. I didn't press hard in the center. If y'all see the way I got my, um, oh, yeah, I was just going to tell y'all about that. If y'all see the way I was just doing it, you'll understand why I didn't press hard. Oh, I got my ring light one way, and then I got my tripod another way. So now you see that it's clean from the fabric. So now you can go to cut it. This is so simple, you guys. So if you order this pattern, you don't have to worry about none of your measurements or none of the hard stuff. And like I told you, nothing's wrong with measuring. But my audience, the community that I'm serving is for people that get frustrated with measuring. I get frustrated with measuring. If the end result is I'm still going to make money, I don't want to do nothing that's going to cause me frustration. So if you are like me, you see how simple it is to work this pattern. This is one. So we just need one more. But like I said, nothing is wrong with measuring. I just don't choose to do it. It stresses me out. getting better and better y'all look i was almost on point look at that so you put it in here wait a minute let me just go to this one so we're gonna cut our square around it So it gives us clean fabric and our fabric don't look all crazy. And now we cut it out.
Boom. Pattern number 15, if you want it. Here go our second piece. So now all we need is two pieces for trim. Because all I'm doing is trimming around the top part of the leg piece. I'm going to cut this off so my stuff will be even. So, I fold my trim because I don't like to do it long ways. So, when you fold it, you definitely going to have to fold it to where you can see it. And all I do, this is the, the most measure, the most measuring I do. You see these two boxes? All I do is just go straight up those two boxes. That's it. And I didn't even do that one right because I didn't line it up. I'm gonna do one more. Okay, so we got I got three pieces. So now time to go to the serger. Let me bring you out right here to the serger. If you do not have a serger, you can still do this without a serger. Okay? So don't freak out because you, if you don't have one, I didn't always have one either. Now, let's bring this to right here. So I guess I just moved the serger. So the serger is right here. Um, let me see. What can we do this with? With y'all seeing it? Let me see. I'm gonna have a camera person one day. But right now we gotta make it work, okay? So the camera's right here. I hope this is a good angle. I got all our pieces right here. So let's bring the light down. Come on. We brought the light down. I scooted it over out of my way. Let me see. This should be a good angle. Okay, so here go our leg piece. Here's our leg piece, right? I don't think this is a good angle. Wait a minute. I'm trying, yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. Wait a minute. Let me see. Let's see if this is a better angle. I think this is a better angle, yeah. I'm going to something. Okay, yeah. So, y'all seen that little error, but I'm not going to read. I'm not taking anything out. I'm not doing all of that because this is real and authentic. So, I did drop the phone. I did have to start it over. And now, I'm going to have to put the clips together. So, here go our piece. I just thought this would be a better angle. Here go our piece. So, what we're going to do is... is Fold it out. It's only one piece, right? So all we're going to do is lay it out. Let me show you. Let me bring it back a little bit. You see how I'm laying it out? This is the top part. This is the top part over here. This is the bottom part. So what we're going to do is the shiny part of our flare, we're going to open it up to the bottom to the bottom of our leg piece right so this is my shiny side so i'm gonna lay it flat down this way not this way so i'm facing it forward so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna line it up i'm gonna line the piece of the flare to the bottom of the calf sleeve you see it i'm gonna hold right here you have to hold right here if you do not hold, it's going to be lopsided, okay? So you hold these two pieces together. You put them under your serger or your needle foot, whichever one you have. 
And like I told y'all, I don't personally use pins. The reason why I don't use pins, it take too long. And like I told y'all, I get overwhelmed. It takes too long and I want to know how to control my fabric. If you always use pins, you're not really controlling the fabric. The pins is. So if you ever get in a situation to where you need to make something quick, you're going to freak out because you don't got your pins. But at least if you do know how to do it without pins, you won't freak out and you can use pins as an option. That's my opinion on them. So you see that we have to line this up, right? I will have to keep taking my pins out, stopping, doing all of that when I can just hold both pieces. Oh, and you have to hold the bottom piece the entire time you're sewing. If you don't hold the bottom piece, it'll go offline as well. So you see it? Cut exactly from there. That way you only make one cut and you don't make a, a bunch of cuts. So now this is the way that it is. So we're going to do it one more time because I like to go over everything at least twice. That way it lasts on and people say, oh, I had this forever versus it fell apart. And we're cutting our strings. So because I'm using sheer, it really don't matter which side I use because it's sheer. So now here's my outside. You see it? So now we put it together. We're still... This is our outside. So then all we do is take our two pieces at the top, line them up, right? Yeah, your leg piece is gonna be heavy, so you're gonna have to put it on your, your table or whatever you're sewing on. Put it up underneath there after you line it up. Make sure these parts are lined up. Start it a little bit just so it won't move and then you have to go to your pieces where you added your flare and you have to line these two pieces up when you line these two pieces up like i told you it stay in place so if your your fold like your seam if you land it this way keep both of them this way if you land it that way keep both of them that way i would suggest you lay it down so when it goes through the foot, it goes down and it's not going up against the foot. So line it up. When you line it up, you see how I'm lining it? Hold them. You have to hold it. If you don't hold it, it's going to be lopsided. You have to hold it, okay? You have to hold them so they line up. And while you're making sure this part lines up. So now, once you go over that part, you hold the bottom together so it won't not line up. You have to hold it the whole entire time while you're making sure these two pieces line up. But you have to hold the bottom, okay? Hold the bottom. I had a piece of hair on there. Okay. You see how I'm still holding the bottom? Cut your string and you see the way that it looks. But remember, we have to go over it one more time. You don't have to hold anything the second way around because you already have your guide. You just have to go over it. So 
So now, there go our leg piece. Now you turn it right side out because all of our stitching is in the inside, remember? Ooh, if I can get in here, if I can open this piece up. There you go, right side out. And now, here go our, our piece. Here go our calf piece. Well, you see the piece at the bottom. Here it go like this, you see it? And we do the same thing with the other piece. So that's one. Let's open this piece up. This is our top piece. So we're gonna use the bottom piece. Let me scoot back so I can show you. We're gonna open it up. This is our bottom. It's the smaller part. This is our top, you see it? We then take our flare piece, the shiny part of our flare piece. We lay forward onto it the opposite way. So we're gonna lay it. Oh shoot, where'd I go? We're gonna lay it on there forward this way towards our top of our calf sleeve, not the bottom. Don't do it towards the bottom. You're laying it forward. You see it? So look, let me take this off. So look, this is our top piece. This is our bottom piece. When we go to put our flare, this is the shiny part. This is the front of our a piece. So now we're, we're laying it shiny to shiny. You see it? So we're going to we're going to make sure our points are lined up. This is so important. You put this part up underneath your sewing machine, like I told you, and then we're going to stitch all the way across right there. Okay, let's go. We lined it up. And now we're just going to start it a little bit before we get to holding it tight. We don't have to really hold this part yet. I would prefer for you to line it up first, like to start it. That way you know it's lined up and then it won't move. So then once you start it, then you make sure your pieces line up while lining it up the entire way down. And y'all, if y'all still don't get it off this video, or even if you get it off this video and there's some things you want to work on or some things you're having trouble with, I do do virtual classes and in-person classes. I'm located in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I will definitely help you with anything that you're struggling with. Um, you can do it from the comfort of your home or you can come to me and I'll get you right. Or if y'all have any um, pictures of outfits that you like, that you might have screenshotted in your camera roll, you can send them to me and I can create a simple pattern for them. Most of them. If I can't do it, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to say, look, girl, I look guy. I can't do it. But you know I'm going to figure it out. We do offer sleepovers. We do have a pattern book, y'all. Um, our pattern book comes with 101 patterns. The pattern book is $2,500. We do have payment plans, so don't freak out. It's an investment. It's 101 different styles. Um, you can pay as much as you can or as little as $100 25 times. It does come with $1,500 in vendors. So if you're just starting up your business, you're going to need vendors you're going to need fabric vendors elastic vendors crystal vendors everything that you would need for your business you can use that vendor credit of fifteen hundred dollars for so you're basically only paying a thousand dollars for your book because you're getting fifteen hundred dollars in vendor credit so yeah we're repeating the same um the same thing we started it a little bit and now we make sure it lines up right here where we added our flare. We also have deals of the day every single day on our Instagram story. 
So do not miss out on those deals. Um, we have a Facebook group. It's called Hidden Agenda Sewing Family. I would love for y'all to join the group and post the things that y'all make and network with other like-minded people. So we started a little bit. Remember, after we go over this little part where we connected the flare, we started a little bit and then we line it up at the bottom. So now both of our sleeves are basically done. They're basically done. I gotta go over it one more time. And then we just trim our little top and we're done. The top of our, um, we can trim it with this, but I don't like to trim it with this because I want it to hug tight. Okay, we turn the right side out. Okay, right, let's just trim it with this. That way it'll be done and over with. You see it? Here it goes. So look, I'm just gonna trim it with this. I shouldn't have trimmed it with this. No, I'm not gonna trim it with this because I want it to fit right. Okay, so now we're going to the sewing machine. Let's just move this and just bring the sewing machine right here. That'll make life so much easier. We got both of our pieces right here. Let's just bring, I'm just gonna shift the sewing machine, y'all. I had it on the other side, ooh. Okay, wait one second. Trying to shift everything. Okay. So we're going to move the serger. Push the sewing machine right here. Time to sew. Okay. So this is my sewing, one of my sewing machines, y'all. If you want to use the settings, you can definitely take a picture of the settings or whatever you need to do. I had to take a water break. Okay. So here's our pieces. This is the top of our, our leg sleeve. We then take our trim. There's different ways you could trim. Let's do it this way. Fold it in half. Fold it in half again. Whatever it is you're trimming, I will start from the seams. Ooh. If I can hold this. See where the seam is on the side of the leg piece? Sit it on the fold. You see how I'm sitting it on the fold? And then fold over on top of it. You see it? Put it up underneath your needle foot. We put it up underneath the needle foot. I'm going to move my leg piece over because it's going to be too heavy. So, you see it? Shit. I mean, shoot. Sorry. Yeah, grown. So, look. Because I just missed it. And then I fold over on top of it. Put it up underneath my foot. Start it a little so it won't move. And then I, I'm keeping this part back. This is the other part of the leg piece. I'm keeping it back. You see how the fold is. 
Wait a minute, let me give you a better angle. Okay, I think that's a better angle. Okay, so you see how the fold is, right? All I'm going to do is lay the piece on this fold. I'm going to pull on this fold. I'm going to hold it in place so it won't get wider. And it all stay the same. Right? So I'm still making sure this stay over here. I'm still making sure I keep my little fold. It's just like a sandwich. And you pull on that part. Hold it in place. And you stitch. And you get to your finger and you stop. And you reposition. You see, I'm still trying to make sure it stay on that fold. I'm pulling this fold only. I'm holding it in place. You see it? Making sure that fold is good to sit this on there. And then pull on the other fold. Make sure it overlaps it though. So I'm coming up to the part that I started on, right? So I cut off all my ugly strings. And now that I'm coming to it, I just come a little past it and cut it. When I come a little past it, now what I'm gonna do, when I get around to it, I'm gonna tuck this inside of the new part to where you won't see where I began or where I ended. Let me cut this string. Okay, I hate strings, y'all. So, I'm gonna put this inside of there, right? Let me not gotta show you. I'm gonna put this on the fold, right? I'm gonna come a little bit more before I tuck it in. Okay, so now that I got it right here, I'm gonna tuck this inside of there. I'm gonna overlap it. You see that I'm that I'm overlapping it? Exactly the same width to where you don't see where I started or where I ended because it's the same width. If you don't make it, if you don't make it the same width, they're gonna be able to tell where you started and where you ended. You see how I'm doing it? But I'm trying to keep it the same width. So when you get right there, you lift your foot up, you flip it around, and you go up and down right there to seal it. Am I doing it? Oh, y'all, yeah, I was doing a straight step. That's what was wrong with my stuff. I don't know what I was doing. So then you come back around. Now your guide is going to be exactly right here on your trim, the ending part of your trim. You want to lay everything flat. So you want all of this to be flat. I don't know why I was doing this. I was tripping. Why was this on straight stitch? And I didn't even pay attention. And it don't hurt to go over things twice, y'all. So it'll last. Because you rather go over it twice now than for somebody to bring it back and you have to fix it. your strings exactly from the area I did something right here y'all so I'm gonna fix it real fast I stitched a part together that did not need to be together so I have to make sure that I pop that thread there it go oh shoot I should have showed y'all I stitched that part together that was not supposed to be together. 
So I'm going to pop the thread on it. There you go. So it won't be tangled. And then cut off all your little ugly strings. This is the inside of our outfit, just so you know. The inside of our leg piece. So if you have stuff like this on here, you can cut it out. Use small scissors and go up against it. Do not just do it real fast because you will cut a hole in your piece. Let me do it right here so you can see me. So look. Now, here go our pieces. This is the top of our piece. This is where we started. This is where we ended. So look, you see how this piece is up? If you turn it sideways, right? If you turn it sideways, let's cut the string. Look, let me show you what I just do. Because it didn't line up perfect, which is going to happen all the time. I just go at an angle to chop it out. To try to line it up with what I'm doing. But other than that, we're good to go. There go our piece. So, y'all, make sure y'all tell me what y'all think. Make sure y'all tell me if this video helped y'all. I would love to see y'all leg pieces. Make sure y'all order y'all patterns if you need it. We're going to lay this one out. And I'm going to show y'all what it looked like. You see it? It looks like this. You can then serge the bottom, fold over the bottom, whatever you want to do to the bottom. But this is our piece. And we're just going to do the same thing with the top. And we are complete. So like I said, this is pattern number 15. This is pattern number 92. But y'all, these are ready to sell. How you doing? <laughs>